Hello everyone, um, welcome back to our second tutorial for the MATLAB and this video will deal with a, the matrix and the vector operation in the MATLAB so, so in MATLAB, like when you should generate like a vector or matrix then there, there are actually various uh, methods you can actually do uh, such as vector a set up just like a one by one uh, vector which is a scalar value and you can also assign that maybe I'll say the vector b is two by one metric, uh, metric or like that is actually a vector but you know, it's just like a type of metric and there are I'm sorry, there are more more than um columns like it's one column then you will actually have a matrix like one zero zero one like all the, the matrix. So it matrix if you say the maybe assigning the value into a variable like a, a variable a equal one then you basically assigning a integer a real number into this the variable that's like is the value into variable so yeah this is important and this is like a pretty much you have done so far and when you assign that two by one matrix then you are starting with the square square bracket and you enter the value and you are using semicolon so then you are topic 2 and then closing it with a square bracket um, if you are having vector uh, sorry looking like 1 2 then you can say v equals 1 separate each indices by the space or you can also do one comma two so that comma that comma or that space is a separating each indices in a same row so that is how it it's done so if we are creating that matrix that it's going to be C equals 1, 0, or comma, semicolon, 0, 1, and you close that square bracket. So I'm going to go through um, examples, like assigning, creating that, those different uh, vectors and then matrices. And I'm going to show you in the the MATLAB. Right here it is. So I opened it with a live script editor, and I always, as I said last time, I started with the CLC and clear all. all right. Firstly, we are assigning um, the value of seven into a. 7 and for the generating generating a vector for B B equals as I said earlier so starting with the square bracket then you then you type it one as like this is like a two by one matrix and you just like create uh, and then you are going into the second row then you top it 1.5 right easy and a little bit more okay and C all right then this is 1 by 3 vector right so then 1 2 3 separating them by the space 
or you can provide let's say comment and now we are creating a matrix so, right now this is a two by two matrix then we are typing the index each indices one two or again by comment and you end your row then you type a semicolon to start with new row and then you type one and three okay and the next one this is two by three matrix so then you type first row one one two more one 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 right and the last one so I'm gonna speed up a little bit one two one eight minus one two one three zero seven eleven all right so then usually checking if they are actually okay if you see it there so the a equals seven right that's it the b equal one and the one comma five okay and we can actually move on to um, some examples like some vector and the matrix operation so the very first question so example one equals yeah so basically you scaling the vector b by the the multipl multiplication vector a so basically a times b which is possible right and then example two was asking getting the transpose um, vector of the b so then you can go for the two different options you can actually choose yeah that might work so either you go for b so like a type first like a prefers type your vector name and then you, you just using apostrophe then it does actually give you a transpose matrix or you can do um, dash one of the transpose vector B that also works uh, for the third example uh, it's asking you to get a determinant of D so remember you can't really actually get a determinant of um, 2 by 3 or 3 by 2 matrix or like a, a vector thing it must be a square size of matrix so then determinant of D is a simple just using the function that of D that it will get you to have a determinant of that matrix and the fourth example asking you to get an inverse matrix of F right so then you can actually use a function called in inverse then you just simply type the name of the matrix oh sorry And then fifth one is asking you to calculate um, the multi multiplication of inverse of matrix F times by the transpose of C because again you can't really multiply the three by three matrix with the one by three matrix so you must actually transpose like your C matrix as uh, C vector to get uh, to get it to be um, three by one vector. 
so you can use like a, the one we have done uh one we have i have introduced you so then i can use inverse of f multiply by the c transpose or there is another way of doing it so just like a top the name of the matrix and then you just type this reverse slash and times by c apostrophe so this is exactly same expression as this one and even matlab i recommend you to um using that the uh the reverse slash the symbol instead of the inverse function because it um works faster right and that's it and we just like simply run everything then it gives you the numbers oops, oops. there we go as you see there so these are exactly the same and those are exactly the same yeah so you can actually practice your own matlab skills all right thanks